What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here. In this video, I'm gonna show you I got some more American Silver Eagles to add to my monster box, but also I wanna talk about when is a good time to stop buying silver? Let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. This is just gonna be a quick one here. I got some more eagles to add to my monster box. I gotta figure out where they go in here. Uh, so I'm wor still working on the monster box journey. I don't quite have, let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got 10 tubes full. I'm working on tube number 11. Uh, so we're gonna add some more to tube number 11 here. These ones are all empties. Uh, but anyway, I, I really wanna talk about when is a good time to stop stacking silver because right now we're seeing the price of silver just slowly keep going up. We're up to like 1720 or something right now as I'm filming this video. And a lot of people are like, you know, well, I'm buying silver. It still seems pretty cheap. You know, when is it going to start to get too expensive to where it's not really a great idea to keep on buying it and stacking and etc. Uh, so I want to take this one out here because I think some of these dates might match up. Uh, but anyway, so here's my thoughts on the subject. Now, uh, well, real quick, I just have five more eagles. This was a trade that I did from a for a <laughs> from a gentleman for some poured silver uh, that we had done a trade previously, and so I got five more eagles from him. Really cool. So we're adding these to the box. Uh, but anyway, so a lot of people have been saying, you know, if the price just keeps on going up, now it might be over the course of a year, a couple of years that we'll see it, uh, you know, actually crack like $20 or $30 or just keep on going up. But if it does, when should we stop buying silver? Because it does seem to be a fairly decent price right now, 17, you know, and some change but it's gonna start getting really expensive here. So do we just keep on buying all the way up? I mean, do you just buy silver for all eternity or at some point do you stop buying it? Oh, check these out real quick, sorry. These are 2011s, just gorgeous American Silver Eagles. Really stoked on these. Uh, you know, speaking of 2011, actually it's a, a great thing to bring up right now. The price of silver was pretty high. I mean, we're up in like $20, $30 for an ounce of silver. So back in 2011, should you have been buying silver all that year or waited for it to dip down into the prices we're seeing now, right? So let me give you my thoughts on it. So I think that if you're buying silver, uh, you know, there's, well, there's a couple different things. Number one, you're converting your fiat currency into something that you're storing your wealth into. So, you know, really, is there ever a time where you should not be doing that where the price is just too high? I mean, here's the thing. If the price is going up because it's going up naturally over a long time, the price of goods are going up, you know, we, if we see like the price of, uh, you know, just normal things like computer, toilet paper, food, whatever, if we see the price of those things double and the price of silver also doubles, then I think you should keep on buying. It's just gaining, it's re well, really retaining its value while the buying power of the dollar is going down. So it's okay to keep buying silver up in $20, $30 an ounce, etc. But if we see a massive spike in the price of silver and the price of everything else still kind of stays the same, then it's probably speculation or manipulation driving the price up where it's getting this, you know, crazy, uh, some people will say normal price or inflated price or whatever you want to say. But if we do get another massive spike up to like $50 an ounce or $100 an ounce and the price of all the other, you know, goods kind of stays around the same or maybe even those things get a little bit cheaper, then it's probably speculation or manipulation and you can probably expect to see a massive crash after it spikes up that high. So, you know, it just kind of depends. What, what do you think is going on? Do you think the price is being manipulated up or is it just going up naturally over time? Uh, so if, if we see it get up over $20 an ounce, I'm really going to have to take a look and, and think, you know, what's going on here? Um, so it's kind of up to you, but I think for a lot of people, $20 an ounce is sort of like their stop buying zone or at least where they need to stop uh, take a step back and just kind of see, you know, like, is this going up because of manipulation or something? Uh, here we go. So this is this is what I was looking for. I was looking for my tube 
of uh, 2011s and actually found it right here for his tube. Awesome. So I took five out, so I need to add these five here, and then this will all be a tube of 2011s. Boom, got it on the first try. <laughs> so, uh, you know, like I was saying, $20 an ounce for a lot of people, that's sort of their take a step back. Okay, the price is now over $20 an ounce. Is that just because naturally over time it's gone up that high? Or is it spiking up and we're going to see another crash? Uh, so, you know, I think both things are possible right now. It's very possible we could see people uh, buying because they're worried about losing a ton of money in stocks, etc. We're going to go into another recession. I think we could see the price just spike up massively for that reason. Or also just with inflation, you know, with the weakening of the U.S. dollar. I think it's also possible we could see the price of silver go up over $20 an ounce. And that just be sort of the norm moving forward. Like, hey, you know, $20, $20 for an ounce of silver is the norm. And we never really see it go back below that. So I think both of those things could happen. But I think, you know, for me personally, it's that $20 an ounce. I'm going to take a step back and say, okay, you know, what's going on here? Is it time to sort of maybe stop buying for now and just sort of wait and see what happens with the price? Uh, is it going to spike up and then just take a nosedive? Um, you know, if it does that, then if you buy a ton of silver when it's 30 bucks an ounce and then it goes back down to 20, well, guess what? You, I mean, you really just lost money or you should have waited. And then, you know, I mean, you're not really losing money because you still have the silver, like you've converted your fiat currency into precious metals. So it, you know, it's not really a bad thing. I wouldn't really see that as like a loss, but I would see that as, you know, you didn't have as much uh, potential silver as you could have if you just waited for it to drop back down, you know, into the $20 range or whatever. So like I said, there's a couple of different ways to look at it. I think really you need to look at the big picture. When is a good time for you to stop buying? You know, for me, I think absolutely if we get up to 20 bucks an ounce, uh, then I'm going to need to take a step back and just say, you know, what's happening? Is this a good time for me to keep on buying silver or should, uh, you know, I maybe be pausing for a little bit and focusing on gold or whatever else. I mean, if the price of silver goes up to 20 bucks an ounce, I think gold's probably going to go up a lot too. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see when that time comes. But obviously when it does, I'll still be making videos and everything and we can talk about it and sort of figure out what to do together. But anyway, Monster Box coming along nicely. I don't know why I put this lid on the wrong way because then I got to use my knife to take it off. So we put it on the right way here. There we go. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. We still got our uh, 10, 10 completed tubes and we're doing pretty good now on tube number 11. Uh, looks like we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ounces. So we got 13 more to go to finish tube number 11. That'll be super stoked to get that finished. Tube number 12 finished, 13, and then we're on to the other half of the box. So we're moving right along. And I can also put a 2011 sticker on this one now because these are all 2011s. So very cool. Anyway, those were just some thoughts I had on sort of when to stop buying silver. Um, you know, I want to hear from you guys. When is your time to stop buying silver? And do you have different thoughts on the opinion? Does it, does it matter if you think the price is just spiking up or if you think it's going up naturally over time? So definitely leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Silver Dragons! out.